You know, I, I think it's really interesting because uh, you can imagine what the Clinton gang reaction is to news that the Justice Department started asking questions about this. It's abuse of power, it's a partisan witch hunt. Of course, the abuse of power was the Justice Department and FBI being manipulated to protect her. And there's other, uh, there's other good news, if it's true, but there's a report in the Hill that uh, FBI agents have begun asking questions about the pay-to-play issues at the foundation and the State Department and such. Supposedly it's being run out of Little Rock, which is good because the leadership in Washington is thoroughly corrupted. Andrew McCabe, that pro-Clinton advocate, or who's someone who's been compromised, is still number two there. So the FBI agents in Little Rock have begun asking questions about this. So will it develop into a real serious investigation? I don't know, but it's a positive development. So if they're looking into pay to play, again, Judicial Watch has paved the way here. We've gotten these records about Clinton's, the, the Clinton cash machine at the State Department back in 2014 showing that she and her husband earned about $48 million from speaking fees from virtually everyone who had business, from foreign potentates, China, Saudi Arabia, Russia, $500,000 from a Uranium One connected Russia government front company, all of which was approved by the State Department. They didn't think it was any problem. $48 million. That's a lot for the FBI to investigate, and Judicial Watch has uncovered all the documents there or at least many of them. We exposed that back in 2014. And as I said, in 2016, despite the stonewalling of Hillary Clinton and the obstruction of justice by her and the administration in terms of keeping records away from the American people and the courts, we uncovered the pay for play that was going on throughout Yuma Abedin and Hillary Clinton and the foundation dozens of instances of foundation donors going through the Clinton Foundation to get favors or seek favors from the State Department. That's a lot for the FBI to be investigating. You know, Robert Mueller has, I think, 16 prosecutors investigating, I don't know what he's investigating, mortgage fraud, whether someone filed a federal form on time or correctly. I mean, being, ha I'm being, uh, being um, charitable, it's suggesting that he's doing anything legitimate at all. Is the Justice Department going to devote similar resources to uh, the evidently crooked activities of the Clinton cash machine? I hope so. I hope it's not just two FBI agents or three FBI agents in Little Rock, Arkansas doing all the work. Are we eventually going to get grand juries? We know what a serious investigation looks like, and we should be demanding it. Uh, but the Clinton people are outraged that this is happening, and because um, they're not used to being able to, they're not used to uh, being able to uh, not control investigations like they did during the administration last year with the Obama administration, Clinton and Lynch, uh, uh, Comey and Lynch. A Freudian slip there. So we're glad to see once again the FBI is following our lead and the Justice Department is following our lead on these issues and we just hope it's not a, another scam investigation.